Dahl might be one of the worst corporations canonically, but their sniper rifles are solid. If there was ever a gun type that you would want low recoil on, it would be sniper rifles, and low recoil is Dahl's specialty. We're going to be looking at every part that can spawn on a non-unique or a non-legendary Dahl sniper rifle, and we're going to start with the fire selector. Dahl weapons have the unique ability to swap between two of the following firing modes, fully automatic, burst fire, and semi-automatic. This will result in three different possible combinations of fire selector parts. Now, fully automatic fire takes priority over the other two, and burst fire takes priority over semi-auto fire. By priority, I mean that the default firing mode is the one that has the higher priority. This will be important when we look at the scopes. The fire rate of the burst fire mode will be twice as fast as the fully automatic fire rate, so if you have an anointment on a gun, you can tell what the default mode is just by looking at the fire rate on the gun card. And one benefit of semi-automatic fire over the other two is that it will deal 20% more damage per shot. Next, we're going to move on to the body of the gun. The body will be the same on every doll sniper rifle, and this body can spawn with up to three accessories. The first shown here will provide a 15% accuracy bonus. The second one will do the exact same thing, and the third will decrease your reload time by 10%. That'll do it for the body and its accessories, and now we'll move on to the barrels. Each barrel will provide the gun with its base name, and each can spawn with a set of unique accessories. The barrels are the Asp Barrel, the Diamond Back Barrel, the Rattler Barrel, and the Worm Barrel, which is the Alien Barrel. We'll start off with the Asp. This barrel will provide the highest base damage, but the lowest fire rate as a trade-off. When you get burst fire with this barrel, it will fire in three shot bursts. This is what the barrel looks like, and it can spawn with up to three accessories. The first accessory will give you a 15% accuracy bonus. The second one here will do the same thing. And the third will decrease your accuracy bloom by 25%. Then we have the diamond back barrel. This barrel will have both the second highest damage and fire rate. The damage on a diamond back can be higher than the damage from the asp if it rolls with a few of the accessories that we'll look at in a second. Burst fire with this barrel will result in four round bursts. This is the diamond back barrel here, and this one, like the asp, can also spawn with three accessories. The first will provide a 10% damage increase. The second will also provide a 10% damage increase. And the third will reduce your recoil height by 25%. Next, we have the Rattler Barrel. This one will have the fastest fire rate of the non-alien barrels, but will also have the lowest damage. This barrel with burst fire will fire in five round bursts. Here's what the barrel looks like. Like the other two before it, this one can also spawn with three accessories. The first will increase your fire rate by 10%. The second will also give you a 10% fire rate increase. And the third will decrease your weapon sway by 20% and decrease your recoil width by 25%. The last barrel will be the Alien Barrel Worm. This one will have a very fast base fire rate, and it doesn't increase as much as the other three when going from fully auto to burst fire, but its projectiles will ricochet off of surfaces and can travel through enemies, allowing you to hit more than one per shot. A worm with burst fire will fire in three shot bursts. The barrel, shown here, will provide your magazine with five additional rounds. Purple variants can spawn with one accessory that will increase your projectile speed by 30% and decrease your reload time by 10%. That's it for the barrels, so let's take a quick look at the bolts. There are two of these. The first will decrease your reload time by 5%. The second here will decrease your weapon sway by 20%. Next, we'll look at the five grips. The first one will decrease your recoil width by 30% and increase your damage by 5%. This one can actually spawn with an accessory that will increase your critical damage by 10%. The second grip will decrease your recoil width by 30% and decrease your recoil height by 15%. The third one will decrease your reload time by 5% and provide a 20% accuracy bonus. The fourth grip will decrease your weapon sway by 30% and increase your fire rate by 5%. And the final grip will decrease both your weapon sway and recoil width by 30%. Now we'll look at the five foregrips. The first will give a 10% accuracy bonus and will increase your fire rate by 5%. The second will decrease your recoil height by 30% and increase your magazine size by 10%. This comes at a cost of a 5% damage penalty and a 10% accuracy penalty. Then the third foregrip will decrease your recoil width by 15% and decrease your accuracy bloom by 30%. The fourth one will decrease your reload time by 5% and increase your critical hit damage by 10%. And the last will decrease your weapon sway by 30% and increase your damage by 5%. We're going to move on to the magazines. Along with setting your gun's mag size, they will also determine your gun's base reload speed. 
We'll start off with a 10 round magazine. This is the smallest magazine and it will provide a 10% damage boost. It will also set your base reload speed to 3.2 seconds. The next magazine will be the 14 round magazine. This one will not affect your damage in any way, and it will set your base reload speed to 3.8 seconds. The third and final magazine will be the 18 round magazine. This is the largest magazine and will provide a 10% damage penalty as a result. It will set your reload speed to 4.3 seconds. Next, we'll take a look at the scopes. These might seem complicated at first because I'm going to throw a lot of information at you. First, along with doll weapons having two different firing modes, toggling between the firing modes will change the zoom level of your scope. So each scope will have two different zoom levels, which you can see on the gun card. The lower zoom will always correspond to the higher priority firing mode, so fully auto fire all of the time and then burst fire whenever it's paired with semi-auto fire. Then we have the fact that sniper scopes will have two unique accessories, some of which will influence your zoom. It sounds more complicated than it actually is, and once you see how it works, it's not that bad. So first we'll have this scope, which has 2.2 times zoom for the primary firing mode and 5 times zoom for the secondary firing mode. The first accessory is going to provide a 5% fire rate increase. The second has no listed modifier here, but it will enhance your zoom, bringing it to 2.4 times and 6 times zoom. This scope, out of the three that we'll see, will have the most drastic change between its two firing modes. The second scope here will give you 3.8 times zoom and 4 times zoom. The first accessory here will increase your critical hit damage by 10%. The second will decrease your weapon sway by 30%. This final scope will provide 4.5 and, and 5 times zoom. The first accessory here will give you an accuracy bonus of 20%, and the second will set your zoom to 5.2 times and 6 times. Now your scope will sit on top of a rail, which there are three different versions of. None of them have any listed bonuses, but we'll take a look at them quickly. Here's the first, then the second, and the third. And we come to the different elements that doll snipers can spawn with. I don't think anyone's surprised when I say that doll snipers can spawn in all five elements. These being fire, shock, corrosive, cryo, and radiation. Most of the time though, you probably won't see one. To help with the large amount of parts on doll sniper rifles, I've made this table that contains all of this information. This can be found in a spreadsheet linked below along with part information for other weapon types. That'll do it for doll snipers guys, see ya!